Just type in your name. Or maybe you can get your mum or dad to do it for you. I hope you didn't forget that your friend Lester's coming over. Oh yeah, we're working on that shark project for school. Are you going to use the real shark tooth I gave you, Stanley? You bet, Dad. I should give Lester back the animal cards he let me borrow, too. But I can't remember where I put them. I better start looking. See ya! Stanley, Griff! Oops. Sorry, Mom. I'll put my things away. <laughs> I have so much to do before Lester arrives, Dennis. I have to find his animal cards, put my shark model back together, and... Uh-oh. What's the matter? My shark tooth. It isn't in its display case. Don't worry, Stanley. When you're faced with more than one problem, it's best to deal with them one by one. Would you like to help Stanley put his shark model together? He could use a hand finding the animal cards and shark tooth as well. Come on, it'll be fun! It's one of my favourite rooms in the entire house. <laughs> oh look, two little ladybugs. Woodpeckers can avoid headaches because of the unique shape of their heads. I'm afraid most other birds wouldn't be so lucky, like our friend the duck. Bubble gum! Gum is sticky and chewy and yum, yum, yummy. Bubble gum! Watch how many trout jump out. One trout. Two trout. Three trout. If three trout jumped last time, how many do you think will jump next? That's it. If three trout jumped last time, four trout will jump next. Four trout. Fin. Have you seen anything in here to help Stanley pretend he's an octopus? He needs a long arm and something sticky to put on the end of it. Tailfin! I bet my tennis racket will come in handy later. My ruler will work. Goose feathers are sometimes used as stuffing for pillows. Tail fin! So that's where the tail fin is. It fell behind the bed. If I was an octopus, I could reach way in for it with one of my long arms. You're right, Stanley. An octopus arms, or tentacles, are long. They also have little suction cups on them to hold things. Cool! I'd lend you a hand, Stanley, but, well, I don't have any. That crab is trying to nab Stanley's tail fin. Guide octopus Stanley's arm through the maze by clicking the arrows along the way and get there first. Good luck! Bonus treasure! Way to go! Ah, Treasure!
bonus treasure. Way to go. Absolutely. Dennis, can sharks get into tight places too? Well, they have no bones, so most of them are quite flexible. No bones? No fooling? No fooling. A shark skeleton is made of cartilage, the same stuff that makes up your nose and ears. I hear you, Dennis. You can learn more about the octopus by going to the Great Big Book of Everything. Bubble gum! You'd have to high-five an octopus eight times because they have eight long arms called tentacles. An octopus has remarkable eyesight but can't hear a thing. More than one octopus is called a group of octopi. Did you know if an octopus loses part of an arm, it grows a new one? Plastic teeth! The little plastic teeth for my shark model are scattered all over. Oh, too bad you're not a stingray, Stanley. Some of them swim along the ocean floor catching food. Stingray Stanley! That's it. I'll be a stingray and scoop the floor clean. Well, could you do my fishbowl while you're at it? Swim through the water and scoop up ten of the teeth in true stingray style. Uh, don't bump into obstacles and pick up those bonus treasures. Click on Stingray Stanley to start the game. Click again to get your mouse back. <laughs> bonus! Hooray! Hooray! Two. Bonus! Hooray! Four! That's the way. Try to get more of those. Five! Halfway there! Six! Bonus treasure! Way to go! Seven! Eight! Aha! Treasure! You are good at this, aren't you? Stingrays sure are cool, Dennis. Cruising along the ocean floor. There are a couple of sharks that do the same. No kidding? Bramble sharks and zebra sharks glide along the ocean floor looking for food as well. Reminds me of Harry. <laughs> Indeed. Cruising the kitchen floor looking for scraps. Hey! I resemble that remark. You can learn more about the stingray by going to the great big book of everything. Horseshoe crabs have been around a long time. They were here even before the dinosaurs. There's a seagull. A seagull is a scavenger and will eat almost anything. Isn't she pretty? That's a flamingo. Flamingos stand on one leg like ballerinas. A pelican. He has a big mouth that he uses to catch fish. Which one was the scavenger? Do you remember? Right, it was a seagull. <coughs> the thresher shark has a tail as long as the rest of its body. Pectoral fins! 
If Stanley had something to help him glide, he could jump over the laundry like a flying fish. Do you see anything in here that glides on the air? Pectoral fins! My kite should do the trick. Exactly. Pectoral fins! The pectoral fins are next to that laundry pile. If I was a flying fish, I could just fly over and get them. Well, flying fish don't actually fly, Stanley. They glide by leaping out of the water and spreading their pectoral fins to escape from enemies. Neat. Too bad you weren't a flying fish, Dennis. As long as I'm not a frying fish, I'm quite content. It's a flying fish race for Stanley's pectoral fins. To start, click on Stanley. Move your mouse up or down to move Stanley around the predators. When you get close to the surface, click your mouse to leap over other fish or swim under them. Watch for bonus treats. Hit any key to get your mouse back. On your mark, get set, fly! All right, bonus points! Hey, bonus! Good show! That's the way! Keep after the bonus treasure! All right, bonus points! That's the way! Keep after the bonus treasure! That's the way! Keep after the bonus treasure! That's the way! Oh, that's some swimming! Flying fish live in tropical waters. Is that where sharks live too? Some do, but some live in cold water as well. Neat! Is there such a thing as a flying shark, Dennis? Not really, but the Mako shark does like to jump out of the water. It can also swim up to 22 miles an hour. 22 miles per hour? Wow, that sounds pretty fast. <laughs> Faster than the average cat. You can learn more about the flying fish by going to the Great Big Book of Everything. Is that everything? The book will bring in deep sea bliss when Stanley reads on the flying fish! A flying fish can glide as far as 300 feet. Wow, that's about as long as seven school buses. A flying fish can glide through the air at up to 40 miles an hour. That's faster than you could ride on a bike. A flying fish can glide as high as 5 feet above the water. That's taller than most children your age. Once they're in the air, flying fish don't flap their fins like a bird. They're strictly gliders. Dorsal fin! Look, Dennis, the dorsal fin's on my radio, but it's too high to reach. Lionel's out in the hall. Why don't you just yell for him to help? Because I'm a... I'm a dolphin, Dennis. And dolphins don't just yell, they squeak, squawk, whistle and sing. Well, the Queen's English has always been good enough for me, thank you very much. The dolphins are going to make noises, then you copy them by clicking them in the same order. Ready? Here they go! Congratulations! Get ready, here's another set. Clever, 
clever. Are you ready? Because we have another round for you. You're really racking up the points. Ready? Here comes another set. You couldn't just call out like a normal person, could you? I'm a dolphin. <laughs> You're too much, animal boy. Could you please get my model piece down for me? Sure, there you go. Thanks. Maybe I can do you a favor sometime. Okay then. <laughs> Try speaking human next time. Do sharks talk like dolphins, Dennis? No, but like dolphins, they have exceptional hearing and can pick up sound waves underwater from over a mile away. So they hear waves under the waves. Well said, Stanley. For a human. I have all the model pieces, but I can't remember how they go together. This will take a long time. Not if we do it together, Stanley. Good idea, Dennis. Let's help Stanley put his shark model together. Just click on the display case to get started. help Stanley put his shark model together? When you click on a piece, I'll give you a hint on where to put it on the outline. Just drag and drop it to its place. Body. Yep, that's where that goes all right. Teeth. That piece fits perfectly. Pectoral fin. Yep, that's where that goes, all right. Tail fin. An exact fit. Dorsal fin. I say, well done. <laughs> well done. You sure know a lot about a shark's various body parts, Stanley. There's a word for that, isn't there? Ana anatomy. Oh, do you mean anatomy, Stanley? You took the word right out of my mouth, Dennis. Way to go! You helped Stanley put the shark model together. Let's explore somewhere else, shall we? We still need to find Lester's animal cards and the missing shark tooth. It's a lovely room, isn't it? Hello? Yes? Yes? Okay, bye. That was Lester, sweetie. He'll be over soon. Yes! The first animal card. I'm pretty sure I left the rest downstairs. Crabs can be so crabby. He certainly likes to hoot his honker, doesn't he? Unicorns are mythical or imaginary horses with a single horn on their head. It's a lovely room, isn't it? that skateboard away before someone slips on it and gets hurt.
card. <laughs> Letter A. Iguana. That's the shape of a star. Great idea. We can use the broom to clean the mess. It was raining cats and dogs out there. Hey, Elsie left footprints. That's messy. It's a lovely room, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's where I left this one. <laughs> Dennis, if Elsie went for a swim, would that make her a catfish? <laughs> no, Stanley. Catfish get their name from having little spines in their cheeks which look like whiskers. Fish aren't the only creatures of the water. There's the snail. He's very slow. Then there's the toad. She's faster. Faster than either of them is the otter. Who do you think is the fastest? The toad, the snail, or the otter? Good choice. Let's see if the otter wins the race. Racers, on your mark. Get set. Go. What an exciting race! The otter wins! He's a sleek, powerful swimmer! What a race, folks! It was a drag, but the snail trailed the field. The toad hopped to it, but wound up in second place. The otter know better. Neither was a match for the larger, stronger otter. Now back to Stanley's adventure. Over to you, player! It's a lovely room, isn't it? Boy, oh boy! The whale card! Look at those fleas on Harry's back! Just as fleas hitch a ride on Harry, Remoras hitch rides on sharks! That'd be a fun way to get around. Whee! Stanley, Lester's cards, your shark tooth, remember? <laughs> Humans are the only animals who keep records of their past, like family photos. This one was taken in Victorian times, about 100 years ago, old chap. I better put my book back before it falls on someone. Here, little bro. I'll fix it for you. Thanks, Lionel. Three o'clock is about the time Stanley finishes school. Six o'clock. Why, that's dinner time. By nine o'clock, Stanley's in bed. It says twelve o'clock. That's when Stanley eats his lunch. Which clock says twelve o'clock? 
That's it. Right on time. You've come a long way, baby. I was having the most wonderful dream. This is a beautiful front yard. That's the last animal card. Now I can look for the shark tooth. Where was I playing with it last? I wonder. So let's see if we can figure out where your shark tooth is. Sharks hear very well underwater. Hmm. Oh, where's the most water in the house? The bathroom. Sharks live in hot and cold water. Where can hot and cold water be found? The bathroom. And furthermore, you think you might have had it with you when you took your bath last night in... The bathroom. So after all this, I think it's pretty obvious where we should look. Hmm, the backyard? Harry. Harry. Samantha's love to leap out of the water and land with a loud whap, just like when you do a belly flop. The albatross is one of the biggest seabirds there is. With this hose, I can pretend I'm an eel. Whee! Did you know that electric eels use electricity to protect themselves, Dennis? Isn't that shocking? What's shocking is that we haven't found your shark tooth yet. Let's go, Stanley. The Xenops bird is one of the few animals that start with the letter X. Chameleons can change their colour to hide, like an octopus. Like it here. Towel. That rhymes with owl. Like when I went camping, I saw a big owl. He could turn his head almost all the way around. Dennis, what does extinct mean? Unfortunately, it means these animals aren't around anymore. That's a long piece of toilet paper. Look up there, Dennis. What do you see? Well, I see a shower curtain blowing in the breeze. Not me. I see a parade of turtles marching in the sea. I see. Or rather, I didn't, but now I do. Just click the turtle whose shell has as many dots as the number shown above. Don't let them swim too far down. There's a shark in that cave. Four dots. Four dots. You're very good at this. Five dots. Five dots. Precisely. One dot. One dot. Very good. Two dots. Two dots. You're a good player. Nicely done, Stanley. Turtles sure are good swimmers, just like sharks. 
Turtles use their four flippers to swim, but sharks use their entire body. I wonder where my shark tooth swam away to. We'll find it, Stanley. Let's just keep looking. There are four games here in the bathroom and you've played one. Good luck with the others and have fun. You can learn more about the turtle by going to the Great Big Book of Everything. It's the Great Big Book of Everything with everything inside. See the world around us, this book's a perfect guide. Where did you two come from? Stanley's head will be quite full when he reads on the turtle. Most turtles may be slow on land, but in the water, they're superb swimmers. When in danger, a turtle will hide inside its shell. Turtles have been around more than 200 million years. They were here when dinosaurs were alive. Dennis, look, seahorses. They're much harder to see in their natural environment, Stanley. Seahorses blend in very well with their surroundings. Would you like to help Stanley round up the seahorses? I believe the proper phrase is... Yee-haw! It's a corral in the coral. Find the seahorses, click with your mouse to grab them, then click again to put them into their matching shapes below. Have fun! <laughs> yip, yip, yippee! Definitely. Righto! Very good. Ah, well, there you are then. Seahorses can be hard to spot. Reminds me of carpet sharks. Carpet sharks? Yes, they dwell in deep, dark waters, almost impossible to spot on the sea floor. Just like my shark tooth. It's sure hard to see. Oh, we'll find it, Stanley. Don't you worry. Right. You've played the turtles and the seahorses. Good job. But there are more games here for you to have fun with as well. You can learn more about the seahorse by looking in the great big book of everything. Look at the beautiful new blinds your mum's put in the bathroom with a colourful jellyfish design. We're in the ocean, Dennis. They're real jellyfish and we have to match the pairs that are identical. Gotcha! Can you match the pairs of jellyfish that have the same colours and marking? Just click on two jellyfish that you think are identical. Splendid! I say, brilliant! You couldn't be more right. Those two jellyfish are one and the same. You're really racking up the points. Do jellyfish and sharks have anything in common, Dennis? Well, they both need clean water to live. I change your water for you, Dennis. Yes, you do. And your mother changes your water for you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why, bath night, of course. <laughs> ah, yes, the bathroom. You've already played the jellyfish, seahorse and turtle game, but can you find one more hidden game in here? You can learn more about the jellyfish by searching in the Great Big Book of Everything. It's the Great Big Book of Everything with everything inside. See the world around us, this book's a perfect guide. 
Oh dear. Stanley should he get his wish when he reads up the jelly fish? While it may not look like it, jellyfish are living creatures. They can smell, taste, trap, prey and swim long distances. Jellyfish are different, all right. They have no heart, blood, brain or gills and are about 95% water. OK, kids, take your hand and put it on the back of your neck. Slide it down a bit to where your neck meets your back. Feel that bone? That's your backbone. Jellyfish don't have one of those. Did you know that jellyfish swim using jet propulsion? Yup, they shoot water out of their bodies like a water rocket. H K P <laughs> that scale gives me an idea, Dennis. Do tell. Well, it's this game show where you compare the weight of, say, a whale by stacking it up against the weight of smaller things, like sharks or something. That's quite the imagination you have, Stanley. Quite the imagination indeed. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting game of Whale Scales. Our contestant today is young Stanley Griff, and our shark of the day is a great white. Good luck, Stanley. Harry the dog, explain the rules for us, will you? Thanks, Dennis. Our killer whale here weighs in at 22,000 pounds. That's roughly the same as six great whites. But you'll just have to answer a few questions correctly to even up the scales. Good luck. Let's see our first question. Can sharks see in the dark? Yes, only with the lights on. Only with their flashlight. Only with their flashlight. Only with the lights on. Yes. Correct. Now click and drag the sharks to put them on the scale. Now our second question. Sharks are the only fish that have eyelids, smelly feet, their own brand of peanut butter. Sharks are the only fish that have eyelids. Right you are. Click and drag the sharks onto the scale. Now our third question. If a shark loses a tooth, it will fax the tooth fairy, take out an ad in Lost and Found, grow a new tooth. If a shark loses a tooth, it will fax the tooth fairy, take out an ad in Lost and Found, grow a new tooth. Right, now click and drag the shark to put it on the scale. Fourth question coming right up. Sharks have been known to eat at takeout restaurants, at swim-through restaurants, animals larger than themselves. At takeout restaurants, at swim-through restaurants, animals larger than themselves. That's right. Click and drag the shark onto the scale. That's it. A perfect balance. Everybody back in the water.
Harry the dog. Tell Stanley what he's won today on Whale Scale. Stanley, you win a new bike, a big screen TV, ticket to the Super Bowl. Oh, Stanley, what are you thinking? Oh, I was just thinking about whales, Dennis. How do whales breathe in the water? They use their blowholes like you with your snorkel. And sharks? Well, they get air from water flowing over their gills. Speaking of sharks, let's track down that shark tooth. Well, Stanley, we've learned quite a bit about sharks. We sure have, Dennis. I think it's time we took a dip into the great big book of everything. Oh, boy. Will we see a real live shark? As long as we're careful. Off we go. So nice to be back in the old neighbourhood. Oh, look, Stanley, a shark. Wow, he's a good swimmer, all right. And see, he doesn't need help to breathe like you. And he's down here in the ocean floor. I wonder if he's seen my shark tooth. Yikes, Stanley. Hi, I'm looking for my shark tooth for a school project, and golly, you have lots of teeth. Stanley. Look, Dennis. He's smiling. Maybe he wants to have us over for dinner. Um, maybe he wants to have us for dinner. I, I see what, what you mean. Swim for the hills. Whoa. Boy, sharks are fun to learn about, but they should be left alone. You said it. But we did get some clues on where the shark tooth might be. Yeah, swimming. Breathing underwater where things are clean, or maybe get clean. Hmm. You found it! Way to go! Yeah, now I remember. I brought the shark tooth into the tub with me when I had my bath last night. I was pretending I was a shark. Well, you're all set for your show and tell now, Stanley. You bet, Dennis. Hey, how'd I get under here? Well, Stanley, you worked very hard for that A+. And that's the tooth. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Dennis. We learned a lot about sharks, didn't we? Yeah, they hear well underwater. They're super swimmers. Some cruise the ocean floor, and some are well camouflaged, but all need clean water to live in. Say, Dennis, sharks sleep with their eyes open, don't they? That's right, Stanley. That's what I'll do. Good night, Dennis. I'm going to... <sighs> sleep with my eyes open like a shark. Pleasant dreams, shark boy Stanley. Type in your name with the keyboard where the cursor is blinking or ask someone older to do it for you. 